I'm Katrina, and this is Sew and Tear. And today, we're gonna make some different things. None of this is from my yard, totally different direction here. We are going to make mice on snow. And this is made with sandwich cookies, like an Oreo, slivered almonds, or I guess they're called sliced almonds now, chocolate chips, and kisses, and maraschino cherries with the stem. So our first step is to get this chocolate melted. You can do that in double boiler or a microwave. I'm gonna go do it in a microwave. So I have mixed this, um, mixing this up, I did 15 seconds and then mix, 15 seconds mixed until it's pretty much almost done. And I'm just mixing it so that the rest of it um, gets smooth. So, another step we have is to drain our maraschinos. Draining that. Put it in a bowl. And try to pour this right back into the bottle. The jar. There we go. There we go. So that can go in the refrigerator, you can use it for topping an ice cream or whatever. Um, Alright, let's get our snow ready. So, I have Oreos, you can use any sandwich cookie. And break it apart, there is your snow. And I should have brought something to put this on, it's okay, it'll go on the table. Some of these are not gonna wanna come, there we go. So if you kind of push one this way, like I'm push, pulling one up, pushing one down, that's how I've been successful doing it. Some people twist them and I just find that, that more often than not you get some cream on some and some on not on the other. So like that one, I can use this side. It's not quite perfect, but like I wouldn't use that one. So I'm going to continue, oops, well, that's in the eating pile. All right, so I am making 24 mice, just because that's what I've decided to make, and they're really easy, really fast to make. The maraschino cherries are the hardest thing to find, and you're going to find that usually in the fruit, the canned fruit section in your grocery store, which is not the meat. I mean, yes, it is canned fruit, <laughs> but it's canned like sugar with some fruit. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So if you have multiple people um, doing this project, which is, I think, better. Um, you can have someone unwrapping the kisses as you, as someone else is doing this, and that works a lot better. Well, I might not have room for 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. We'll do nineteen. So 
So I'm actually bringing this somewhere, so that's why I want it to fit on a platter. All right, so now that I know I'm doing 19, I can unwrap these. And this is a clean tablecloth, so I'm completely fine with putting putting these directly on there. Actually, it's just a piece of fabric I got from the fabric store. <laughs> it's not even a tablecloth. But it's on the table, so I guess it makes it a tablecloth. So, so far we have the snow. And these, these are our little mice heads. And for some reason the camera is not really focusing, but you'll get it. One camera focus. There we go. So this is the snow. And these are your mouse heads. And I'm not counting. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. All right, we have 19. Chocolate is melty, that's good. Could have a little more in there, that's okay. I'm gonna bring you down so you can see the process up close. Here is our, is our snow. And we have our maraschino cherry. This is the mouse's body and tail. So, we want to have a brown mouse. instead of a red mouse. So here's the body and the tail. I'm gonna dip it in, get it all covered up. You can get your hands dirty, that's okay. Take it out. And plop it on the snow. You wanna kinda offset it so that it is off to the side because it doesn't have enough chocolate. Okay, because then you're gonna put your, your uh, head on and two ears. Again, the, the ears are the slivered almonds. That one has a big ear and a small ear. So there is a little bit of that. Much better result. I'm gonna do a few of these before I before I do the ears, just to keep the chocolate warm. This one has an itty bitty tail. <laughs> That's okay.
So for the ears, you just shove them right back behind the head. And you can give them personality and use some of the chipped ones, or you can just do it straight. And uh, have big old mouse ears. So, like I said, super easy. Um, the only thing after this is to put on eyes. And that's pretty much it. That's a bald spot. It's alright. Still tastes good. So you can do the chocolate in batches. I really need a light on this side, don't I? <clears throat> Oops. So sometimes the, the kisses have a little little upturn thing and that's kind of cute to put like an upturned snout on, on your mouse. Sometimes you get um, ones without tails, and you can use those and make them tailless mice. Or, you can use those, and because the chocolate acts as a glue, if you have any, any wayward tails, you can stick them on there. It might look a little funny, but... That's okay. All right. Oops. Time for some ears. Now these slivered or these um, sliced almonds come in a package, and you could just pull them out of the package. But I like to put them in a bowl so I can see which ones I'm pulling out. Choose a little personality. All right, caught up with that. So like I said, if you had a bunch of people doing this um, together, even just a few people, you can make an assembly line out of it and it worked pretty good. I think you want to get the, uh, the cherries as 
kind of as strained as possible because the cherry juice or the syrup um, kind of prevents the, the chocolate from sticking. So you got to kind of work at it. It's okay. Just means you get chocolatey fingers, which is okay with me. I can take care of that. Oh, we have another tail. Tail with no body. I guess they do advertise with the stem, not that the stem's attached, huh? <laughs> now these might be cuter if you were doing them you know, exact to look, you know, all covered and stuff. And the way to do that is to, um, again, like I said, dry off the cherries a little bit more. I just didn't do it because they'll look fine and they are tasty and everybody will eat them anyway. We're getting there. Oh, another bodyless tail. They did not do a good job on keeping them attached. Actually, I'm gonna stir this up a little bit. Looks like it might be getting a little hard. There we go. My hands are all chocolatey. <laughs> All right, this is getting to the point that it's not really liquidy enough. So I'm going to re-microwave it real quick. Okay, one more. I guess I should probably show what I'm doing here for these ones. <clears throat> so I'm just having a scoop of chocolate in here and kind of turning it around until it's covered because it's much easier to do that when it has a the tail stuck. All right. So that is last body. 
I've got a tail. And a head. And a couple ears. So here is what our mice look like. And we are going to add eyes with this kick decorating stuff. Alright, so I'm just gonna put two eyes. You can put however many eyes you want. And the eyes really give them a little bit more personality. I just need a little bit. <laughs> that one's a droopy eye, it's okay. All right, they all have eyes. Let me, let me show you up close how they look. So, they all have personality with their eyes and their funky ears. Oh, that one's crying. But it's a super cute, super easy um, thing to do, bring you a party. It's all good. So have fun making your snow your have fun making your mice on snow. <laughs>